Hi everyone and welcome to Animaker's tutorial on the timeline. The timeline is located right down here in the bottom and it is nicely split into three different parts. The object timeline which controls any characters or objects that you have. The video and audio timeline which will control the audio that you have. And of course the camera timeline which will control any of the camera effects that you use. So let's just see how to use the timeline. First and foremost, when you click on a character, you will notice that a purple bar appears on the timeline. By default, the duration of every scene is 10 seconds. This represents how long a character is going to stay on the screen. By default, a character will stay for the entire duration of the scene, which is 10 seconds. If you'd like to change this, all you have to do is click on this little black color bar over here and gently move it. And now this character, who I'm going to call Jane, is only going to stay on the screen from the first second. And she's also going to disappear at the ninth second right about now. Perfect. So the other thing is if you add an effect to an object or a character in this tab over here, you will notice that a little pink color bar appears in the timeline right here. This tells us how long the animation is going to play for. So if I want an animation to play quick, I just drag these two close to each other. And now this little blur effect and fade effect that I've given is going to happen very quickly. And if I'd like it to take a little bit of time for the animation, I will just drag this bar so that there is a lot more time for this specific animation to take place. Let's see how this looks right now. So Jane is just going to quickly fade in. She's going to stand there and she's going to gently fade out right now. Awesome. So that's how easy it is to control the timeline in Animaker. But let's see what happens when you use the timeline with videos and audio as well. The same thing happens with a video. If we add any sort of video that's there, like this or like this, you'll be able to get a bunch of different options right here. And if you add an audio to this timeline, like this one right here, the audio track will also appear in the timeline and you'll be able to easily move it to wherever you'd like. And in the timeline, you can choose exactly uh, what volume you would like to have the audio track. You can split the audio track. You can duplicate it or you can of course go ahead and delete it. And finally, if you are going to apply a camera effect, we follow the same rules. Let's just make a dynamic camera. And if I want to focus on Jean right here, once again, I can choose how much of the animation is going to take place. Perfect. So as you could see, it's very easy to use the timeline if we just remember that purple is how long a character is going to stay and anything that's pink is how long an animation is going to play. If you would like to increase or decrease the duration of a scene in the timeline, you can just click on this plus button to increase the duration or this minus button to reduce the duration. And if you'd like to zoom in and out of, a, of the timeline, you can use this option right here to zoom in and manage exactly when you'd want something to happen in the timeline. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. 
see you guys later